So a small topic is left in C programming that is preprocessor. See in every program we use this symbol hash. So this is preprocessor directive. Now what is the meaning of this symbol? What is this? What is preprocessor? The function of this thing. Everything we will discuss in this video. The meaning of this hash. Ha we will use hash include. We use hash define. Now hash define like macro, hash include, a header file we include. So what is the actual meaning of this thing? Right? That thing every single detail, detail about preprocessor we are going to discuss in this video. What is this process? When this preprocessing would be done? At which step of execution of C program? When you execute a C program at which stage preprocessing is to be done? So with the help of a program also I will show you everything about this thing we will discuss in this video. Now let us see what is a preprocessor. See first thing it is a program. Preprocessor is a program and it is not a part of compiler. Right? not a part of compiler but it is just a step in compilation process see first thing what we do we have a program suppose first dot c then first thing what you do you compile that program maybe you think you are you will compile that program but this pre-processing the function of this pre-processor program comes before this compiler before this before this compilation process but it is not a separate thing Whenever you click on compile, the compilation process will going on. But before that, one more process will be going on that is pre-processing, which would be done by this pre-processor. This is a program. So it is just a, you can say a step in compilation process. It is not a part of compiler. No, it is just a step in the compilation process, right? Pre-processor is just a programmer. You can say it's a text substitution tool. Now what does this mean? What it will substitute? What text? What is the meaning of this thing? What is the function of this preprocessor? That I will discuss. So suppose we have written a program like anything and we have saved it first dot c. Now in this program obviously we use some header file like hash include stdio dot h. Maybe hash include uh, you can say string dot h some special thing a special you know standard libraries. So this hash is what first of all this is known as preprocessor directive. It will give direction to this preprocessor program. So all the preprocessor commands begins with hash. This is a preprocessor command. This is a preprocessor command. And the compiler is not able to understand these lines which are beginning with hash. These line would be interpreted would be understood by this preprocessor. Right? Compiler is not going to understand these lines. So compiler is not going to understand. So before compilation process obviously the program which is preprocessor which would be done which would uh, you can you can say comes in ac action. Now what this program will do whatever the lines which are beginning with this hash these are preprocessor you can say commands right this is preprocessor directive it will give direction to this preprocessor like what we it has to do. Hash include is one preprocessor directive. Hash define is also there like hash define. This is you can say macro hash define we generally use like we can say like we can use pi 3.14 right. So this is macro this is just a correct sequence right. The meaning of everything we will discuss one by one don't worry. So these are preprocessor commands. So these line would be first of all understood by this preprocessor and what this preprocessor now will do see this is in some standard library system library what is defined in this stdio.h stdio some standard functions like printf scanf and all right here also string functions are defined right that's why we are including hash include means we are including a separate file in our program right so what does this preprocessor will do this will expand the source code now expand means what it will expand this line. Now what does this, this line means? Now the preprocessor will do what? It will get this stdio.h content, the file and it will include this file into our source file, right? So one separate file would be there like if this is our stdio.h, stdio.h, here we have some content. Now, the, the, the declaration or you can say definition of those standard functions. 
so this file this content would be included here again one more line so this is again a file suppose string dot h here also we have the those definition of those uh, string functions standard string function so that also would be included here everything of this file right hash define now hash define this means what in a source file suppose we have used py in a program so it will replace this py with 3.14 everywhere in a program suppose we have in a program we have used like uh, the, uh, the you, we are finding uh, area of a circle so that is i think pi r square right so this pi we have written pi into r into r right so this pi would be replaced with 3.14 before compilation process this is what preprocessor is going to do this thing this is you can say macro substitution so this pi would be replaced with 3.14 and the compiler will see 3.14 not pi here right and whatever we have written extra lines those would be added in this program so this is what you can say expanded source code expanded means this single line have been expanded with a complete file this also expanded with a complete file more lines we have right so this is expanded source code or you can say intermediate source code now this file would be stored with first dot i and now compiler will see this file not this file compiler will compile process this file so in this file now we don't have any line started with hash this has been resolved by the preprocessor right so just a program it is you can, that's why I, I was saying it is a text substitution tool so at the place of this line it is going to substitute the complete file whatever there in this std dot h dot h it is going to substitute this file this line with the complete file so this is just a substitution tool not a part of compiler it's just a step in compilation process right now if you want to know more about the execution of a c program what now after that compilation dot obj file would be created then assembler will comes into action then linker and then you know uh, we'll get the output so that we have discussed the complete process i have discussed in one video previous video the link of that video i'll put in the I, the side button so you can go and check out the complete execution the main motto of this video is just to tell you what is this preprocessor right and what is the function of this preprocessor i hope now you got this this thing right hash different different preprocessor directive are there like one is hash include one is hash define one is hash if is also there hash else is also there hash and def is also there it is to define a macro it is to undefine that macro then hash uh, lf is also there hash pragma is also there it is used to give some special directives some special commands right so these thing we will discuss in a separate video now hash include i hope now you got hash include is to include a file right in this video we will talk about this hash include so see hash include also we can use in two different ways one way is this right second way is we are including a standard directory here right second way is we can also include a separate file this example i think by looking at this you will remember here you can write uh, the file name suppose file name i am writing support dot c right has include not angular bracket just double quotes and support dot c so this we have discussed when we are discussing external storage class so here we are in including a separate file so in this file also we are having this is a file support dot c so in this also we have some code right this is in local directory so just use if this file you want to access if you want the content of this file if you want to reuse in another file right then just write down in that program hash include and name of that file in double quotes so it will get this file from the local directory right and it will include this content in the source file suppose in first dot c only i am also writing this line so content of this file also it will include here in this source file expanded file right or here you can just 
find out uh, you can just uh, write down the complete path also where this file is spe specifically like the folder name and everything the complete path if you give this thing it will just search at a special you know particular place like in the local directory only where this this first dot c program is being saved in that directory only it will search for this if this file is at other place you can just provide here the complete path that is also fine but you cannot write this thing if local file you want to include not this standard file then you will use double quotes so hash include just to include a file two ways we can use this hash include thing right so i hope now you got what is a preprocessor and when the functioning of this preprocessor comes like before the compilation process uh, it's just a part of compilation process we will compile only but before that this hash will you know force the compiler to do first of all pre process pre processing so that pre processor program will do that thing after that the function of compiler will come right so i guess uh, you you are clear about this hash include also in how many ways we can use this pre processor directive hash include so uh, another important thing is how to use macros hash define how to undefine and define macros so that thing we'll discuss in next video with the help of a particular program for example right so the assignment for you is you have to write down a program in which you are using this kind of thing this type of hash include a separate file not these file this obviously we will include this also but we are including this also so you have to write down that program right you can take help from the previous video there we have discussed like external storage class so you can take help from that video right now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care